As 2020 comes to a close, Google has now confirmed the shortlist for the user's choice awards for movies, games, and apps. So we're going hands on with the best Android applications for the year. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. You might already have some of the most popular applications already inhabiting this list of the best of 2020, although that is definitely open to interpretation. Being polite, there are some really boring inclusions that you've probably used or seen hundreds of times before. Then again, this isn't our list, it's actually yours. The entire app shortlists for the Google Play Users Choice Awards is determined by you and may vary slightly region by region. We have focused on the US lists, which should provide the baseline for all other areas, so without any further ado, let's get to it. Dolby wants to turn your smartphone into a pocket recording studio with its Dolby On app. Personally, I think the noise reduction feature is a really neat feature on a mobile application, effectively creating a noise gate for you to help reduce background noise for better audio isolation. By no means will this turn you into an audio production pro, but it does mean that recording live music or even starting your own podcast is easier than ever before. The suite of added tuning options makes Dolby On one of the few apps from the big firms that does deserve a spot on a user's choice awards list. Direct connection to services like Twitch and SoundCloud help lower the barrier of entry and honestly the before and after results are really impressive considering all of this is done directly on your smartphone. This is the kind of app that we want to see added to the user's choice awards by Google. Think of Whisk as your personal food prep or meal planner with an intelligent shopping list element, effectively eradicating multiple apps on your phone. Well, that's how it's marketed anyway. You can create your own personal cookbook, but instead of having a finite number of recipes, you can add them from practically any website online, meaning you have endless recipes in one convenient place. If you've been at home more often or want to start cooking more, having a bank of recipes you like is nice. It's the added shopping list function that makes Whisk a real killer application for the home cook though. Add all the essentials from a recipe to your shopping list and ensure you don't leave an ingredient behind. Add in a meal planner and you've got the bones of a mealtime organization app that probably should be a must have. Since the introduction of Google Docs, Microsoft has felt a little bit like a legacy office software package. Alas, it's still seen as the industry standard and remains one of the best for word processing presentations and still has the best for data sheets. Oddly, the second biggest office package on Android is up for a Google Play user's choice award. Whether the app deserves a nomination will be of course up to you. Think of this as just a desktop versions of your favorite office software resized for your smartphone. There are some really neat mobile only options like the ability to transform pictures into documents, spreadsheets and whatnot, but overall it's a solid alternative to Google's own workspace suite. This is yet another video editing application for mobile videographers, but unlike many others, such as Adobe Premiere Rush, Vita is completely free. Although focused on Indian creators, the app is available to everyone with no geo restrictions. All of the standard editing features are available at your fingertips, including slow motion, speed ramps, transitions, lower thirds, text, some basic LUTs, plus you can add Bollywood style tunes as a soundtrack. It's quite feature packed for a free mobile editing suite, but there is a minor downside. Exports are limited to 1080p, which might be a problem for anyone wanting to film in 4K or higher. I'm sure like me, you had no idea that it was possible to effectively map your personality using your smartphone, but supposedly the pattern is able to do that. I'm not quite as convinced this is possible, but with over 1 million app installs, it has a nomination for a user's choice award for 2020. The principle is to essentially find your pattern, whatever that may be, which helps you connect and find like-minded people within the application. It does feel a little bit like a dating app with all the added personality trait questions, but if it works for some people, then so be it. Personally, trying to assign data to a specific personality trait seems a very flawed concept, but again, if it works for some people, then that's a good thing. It's worth noting that some metrics are hidden behind a paywall, which might make the pattern limited for some people. Face swap apps on Android have been around for a long while, but Reface is easily the most popular of the bunch. Despite some privacy concerns, Reface and apps like it allow you to snap a picture of your face and then without needing any VFX or After Effects knowledge, you can apply your likeness to any number of celebrities. It utilizes the sometimes controversial deepfake technology that skirts a fine line between copyright infringement at times, but being able to put your face onto famous stars of the movie screen might be too hard to pass up. 
You can export your creations into a multitude of formats, including animated GIFs and standard video formats too. Chris Hemsworth, aka Thor, aka Ridiculously Hench Aussie Man, thinks you should stop being unfit and decided that you're only going to be completely shredded following his fitness and diet plan. Center is another fitness app aimed at helping you reach your workout and fitness goals, but with Chris Hemsworth's admittedly rugged good luck slapped atop. So definitely worth a user's choice award shortlist place just for that alone. There is a seven day free trial, but it does cost a whopping $29.99 a month for guidance and fitness advice from personal trainers. If we're being honest, we're not entirely sure that Center will have you looking like Thor, but it might be helpful if you do lack the motivation to get moving. Learning a new language is now more accessible than ever thanks to numerous services, platforms and the internet itself. We're not sure if Spiku is in any way revolutionary, but we guess it tries to make learning another language fun and accessible. The structure is kind of like a story walking simulator hybrid. Yes, it's hard to kind of describe. The actual learning element seems pretty good with recall being a big component. The lessons are free with paid for tiers offering one to one support or tuition from language teachers and experts. When you make progress, you unlock videos and other travel tips. It's an interesting concept, but it's probably only really useful for learning basic conversational skills in up to six languages, including Japanese, French, German, Spanish, Chinese, and Italian. It probably comes as no surprise that one of the newest streaming services with some of the biggest franchises and large marketing budget is hitting the top of app charts around the globe. That said, the Disney Plus app deserves to be among the user's choice awards candidates simply for the excellent Mandalorian. There isn't much to it, it's just another streaming app that has all of your favourite Marvel, Disney and Pixar content in one place. It is though one of the most affordable streaming services too at just $6.99 per month. But you'll need a subscription to get anything from the app as there are no freebies from good old Mickey. Vimeo has always been seen as the professional hangout for videographers and creatives and Vimeo Create is just another way to create quick, stylish videos for social media. Some features are though hidden behind a paywall. There are a few templates that will help you up your production levels instantly, but you can go all in and make your own concoctions. You can even add fully licensed copyright free music, pay to access stock footage, and it's really easy to publish directly to your social channels. Desktop syncing might be useful if you prefer to just mess around on your phone and then head to a PC or Mac to finalize a clip. So while some of the shortlisted apps for a Google user's choice award are a little bit obvious or do feel a little bit low effort, you can have your say on which will win an eventual accolade. You'll need to head to your respective Play Store homepage where you'll see a banner ad promoting or prompting you to vote for your favorite. It's also worth noting that there are some slight regional variations too which means you might not see exactly what US Play Store owners and voters will see. But with that said, we want to hear what you think. What is your favorite from the shortlist or do you have any suggestions for apps that should have made it onto the list or deserve a little more recognition? Let us know down in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.